<laughs> after, after you break up, also. <laughs> like you're doing it. Parody. See what? Avengers. See <laughs> Avengers. Hi everyone. Today we are back with another video. And as you all know, it is currently the Ramadan season. And we want to start it off by saying a happy Ramadan to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. And during this season, our Muslim brothers and sisters will be fasting. So today, we have searched the word deep and shallow and found the, the most like ignorant questions that you can ask during Ramadan. Yeah, so today we have a special guest who we feel is an expert for in Ramadan. One and only, Herzi. Yeah, it's true. I'm from Mu'is. Hi, everyone. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I am up and coming running for either the Mufti or Workers' Party. Why do we have this hammers here, actually, gentlemen? So, Hazi, we feel like some of the questions are super ignorant, right? Basically, mm. just get hit after this. Okay. As high as you can. Okay, first, yeah. let's, let's just hit Marcus anyway. <laughs> Would you like to know why I hit you, though? Why? Because Ramadan is not a season, it's a month. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> first ignorant question from yours truly. Yeah. First question. Yes. You know, during Ramadan, it is 30 days long. Sometimes, yes. And then some people have their needs, you know? Mm. Mm. So can you touch yourself per se? You're talking about fapping? Yeah, okay. masturbation. So... <laughs> Why do you have to say it that way? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so technically, masturbation in Islam is already not permissible. And anything that becomes an addiction becomes non-permissible. So anything, like fillers in the face, if you're addicted <laughs> to it, it's non-permissible. Uh, <laughs> so the answer is no. That's not an ignorant question, Marcus. Thank okay. you, thank you. A lot of Muslims also ask that question, actually. Can, can wank? Can beat the bush? Eh, the bush? The meat? <laughs> Why you beat the bush? Just beat the bush. <laughs> okay, what about if like it. you're beating around the bush really, and it's like hard to like stop beating the bush? Then <laughs> the meat, the meat. The meat. <laughs> stop beating the bush. What you Chinese people need to shave lah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say if you are in that moment already and you're doing it. Uh -huh. Then just ask for forgiveness after that lah. No, but I heard from my Muslim friends right that yeah. you need to shower from head to toe. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's called mandi hadas. Yeah. Good job. I know. Thank you. Good job. Uh, mandi hadas. Uh, so cleanliness is a big thing in Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, so even before a prayer, we do our evolution, which are specific steps to rinse uh, parts of your body. Mm -hmm. uh, from the sins that it has committed from the day, from your mouth, from gossips, from your ears, from listening to... Um, gossip. Oh, you know, Lil Nas is Montero, uh, your hands <laughs> from beating your bush. So, uh, when you indulge in sex or masturbation, basically when even women have their menstrual flow, uh, to clean the body is to conduct this shower called the Mandi Hada. Is it like a daily thing or, it, 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 or whenever like... It's called Mandi Hada, so it's monthly. Oh, monthly. Mandi yeah. la, bro. <laughs> Mandi, Mandi shower. I thought, I thought monthly. Yeah, <laughs> monthly halal. What the f So, uh, the next question is, so what if, right, you know like Singapore is very humid and stuff, mm. and then one point during the day, you just cannot take it and you're just so thirsty and then, like you're about to faint, yeah. is it an exception to drink? Uh, so, in fasting, right, actually uh, Allah is so, so forgiving. Uh, there are a lot of uh, nuances in Islam that's not explained. So for example, people who do hard laborious work mm -hmm. or women who are pregnant, mm -hmm. they are totally excused from uh, committing Ramadan uh, or you know, uh, conducting themselves through fasting. And even like women on period, yeah. they don't have to fast as well. So if let's say you yourself have reached your limit for that day and you think like, oh my God, I'm about to faint. At any stage where it is detrimental to your health, Islam permits you to break your fast. Uh, so if you're lightheaded, and you're about to collapse and you're on the verge of collapse. Uh, do that because the purpose of fasting is just to really truly understand how the poor people feel on a normal basis. You know mm -hmm. where so when you feel the parchness in your throat or the, the hunger pangs going, uh, that burning is is metaphoric in that sense where you understand now. Oh my God, these are the privileges and the luxuries I used to have that I didn't notice before. It comes mm -hmm. second nature to me, and then now you realize. Like for me as an adult now. The one thing that I'm, the first three days I'll be a kid, I'll be whining. If you see my stories, I can send, yeah? I've been, I've been a kid about it. Uh, but because 
thirst and hunger is not what gets to me, it is the, the lethargy of it all. That is, the, the more tiring part is just the routine change and your body shifts for it. Uh, and the lack of caffeine, that's what I noticed. Oh, yeah. So, uh, as an adult now, I'm like, oh my god, I was so dependent on caffeine. But then you think to yourself, wow, some people can't even afford coffee. Like. And true. you just realise, I've, I've been a privileged little mother <laughs> Except I'm not cisgendered, male Chinese. <laughs> so next question. Sir. Can you smoke during your fuss? That is not an ignorant question. Uh, you are not allowed to smoke uh, while you're fasting. So basically, any form of indulgence uh, is is stripped away from sunset to sunrise. After that, you can smoke lah. But yeah, just within the fasting window, anything that is your go-to trigger like fapping or, mm -hmm. or smoking or eating or drinking or caffeine is it's just, mm -hmm. it's for you to test, wow, this is me stripped away from any of those luxuries. Who am I? And then, you know, you are encouraged to do good as well. So every time your patience is being tested, you're supposed to Zen yourself up. Gossiping is also not allowed, you know. That's the hard part for me. <laughs> That's the hard part. Yeah, the minute I see someone post something on social media, I'll be like, mm. then, and after screenshot after... this 5 pm, I talk back. <laughs> but why sunrise is sunset? I think lens for theory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, lens. Tell me. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> so somebody in the my friend told me lah, not me. Your friend, so my uh, friend. Must be your friend. Someone uh. in the religion, right? Passed away in the timing, and then rose back at sunrise. Rose oh, back. Sunset. This sorry. Sounds very Christian. I believe it was Jesus on yeah. Easter. Yeah, oh, that's Jesus on Easter. <laughs> Shout out to my friend out there. Uh, no lah. Ramadan was just uh, I don't really actually wow. I don't know why sunset to sunrise, honestly. There must be someone. So if you all Muslims know yeah. why sunrise to sunset, help my then, friend out. Then comment below why. Actually, yeah, I don't I don't understand why sunrise to sunset. See? I'm not that Muslim who anyhow answer. You brought in the wrong expert. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better someone who tells you he don't know than someone who anyhow <laughs> says. You know, it's not me, know, guys, it's not me. I'm an Ustaza. <laughs> Chill out, good. So, throughout the day, you feel a little parched. Yes. And from what we know, like, you can't intake water, right? Yeah. You intake intake water. Intake water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> water. So, scientific. So, can brush teeth or not? Uh, yeah, so brushing teeth is uh, considered. So, there are three uh, rulings to Islam, okay? Um, it's the halal, which is permissible. Makro is the middle one. And then mm. haram is the non-permissible. So one macro is is if you do too much of it, it becomes haram. Oh. So you can brush your teeth. A lot of people are so devoted they don't brush their teeth. Please have brush your teeth before you leave your house. Uh, and yeah, as long as you're not doing it, oh my god, I want to feel the flavor of this Kodomo grape. This gangle be your intentions are everything. So if you're brushing your teeth uh, for cleanliness, then uh, yeah, it, 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 it becomes permissible. So it's all about intentions. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are there like <laughs> products that you cannot use that is like harem? Oh my god, this is... Harem? 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 Harem, yeah, I'll Harem. Harem! You thought haram is harem. When you say harem, I thought it was a Chinese girl, you know? <laughs> Bodo! <laughs> wow, this one is, is, I guess, for the more devoted in the community, they are very uh, adamant about products that make sure that it doesn't contain... Um, glucose? Glucose? Just then. Sugar. Gelatin! <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> Glycerol. Alhamdulillah. Shaitan Rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah la ilaha You can just name it anything that's just a G right? No but I know it's G right? Yeah it's only G It's G right? 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 And we'll be back after our prayer break Yeah Wait it's G right? I swear Guys I swear <laughs> that wasn't an ignorant question, but why would we be able to eat glucose? <laughs> it's G. Glucose is sugar, Mama Hamda! But I know it's a Have you G. seen the Machi at the Nazi Madam store in Hokkwe? Machi is Maharam G! And the glucose! You go to Malay ready in the cordial ring. Hey, Miss Maharam G! Glucose! What up? 
I know my G. What is the G word? Gelatina. Gelatina. Gelatin. Gelatin. At first, I thought your question was even more profound, but I realized it's actually dumb. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying like there are some hair dyes Muslims mm. oh, yeah, yeah, use, the nail polish that Muslims use. There's also like the tudong shampoo. I know, I know that. Yeah, tudong the shampoo. Tudong shampoo. Why is the tudong? No, it's like specifically for. People who wear the hijab. the hijab. I guess there's there's some conditions yeah. that are very specific to yeah. hijab wearers, right? Would you rather miss sahur? Sahur is uh, the start in the morning. Of, yeah, start the of morning class. one, right? Or buka? Oh. I would rather miss sahur at uh, five thirty oh, yeah. versus early. buka because the buka is when you can finally like let loose. Eh? You can beat your bush, you know, all that <laughs> shit. So I ra- Yeah, why would you want to miss Booker? That's, that's a, that doesn't make sense, yeah. bro. So talking about Sahur, right? So I have like, very interesting about Sahur. So like, yeah. Sahur is around 5.30am, right? Yes. Is it common that people it. shout? In shout? During the shout. Shout? Like, shout Sahur! Oh. Uh. Yeah, because my neighbor is always shouting. <laughs> Wow, okay, dedicated. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> like together. Yeah, yeah, like, Sahur! The whole neighborhood, yeah. Yes, uh, Malay families are loud. Mm. Uh, and, and they do do that. My father did that as a kid, my mom did that as a kid. I, and it, it's a camaraderie thing, honestly. Mm. Especially if you're a younger family. Like, I remember when I was young, uh, Ramadan was always such a fun moment because you see people groggy, groggy, waking up, eating oh, yeah. together. But now, as the, the kids are all older, my, my, my siblings are all adults, right? Uh, the, the, the household seems less cheerful. Yeah. Children make Ramadan uh, really special, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially like if they're within the age of say five to to say eighteen, because that's when you know you you sit down at the table with them and they tell you your day. Wow, now I'm getting nostalgic thinking about Ramadan as a kid. Mm. Oh, I just <laughs> breakfast yesterday. I breakfast at the gym alone with Milo and banana. <gasps> oh, skinny. Yeah, I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, but try shout. If you want to shout back, then shout back. You know what? No, no, no. Don't shout back. You know what would be nice? What? You, you want to be really, really nice non-Muslim neighbours? Give them food. Halal food, lah, of course. Oh. Uh, when they're about to break their fast or when they're about to end their fast. That is the nice gesture. Eh? Like, if I had a Chinese neighbour rock up to my house and say, mm-hmm. Hi, this is for you to start your fast. It's from so-and-so and it's halal. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I just thought I want to give it. Wow! Wow! The makcik will love you non-stop! And then the next day, the makcik will return you the tapawe or something else inside. Uh-huh. This was a 90s thing, okay? 90s uh-huh. kids cheer out this uh, nostalgic moment. What parents used to do in the 90s was, it's almost like block catching. So the mothers will all cook stuff and yeah. give you tupperwares, right? And then they will dispatch the children like grab delivery right, oh. to all the neighborhoods. So we would <laughs> oh give it God. to all the so Malay Muslim neighbors uh, in the block, across, back, and as long as you know the Malay neighbor, you will give. And when they return the tupperware, there's another food inside. So when you come and sit down at the table, right, you get a community spread of food. And this is iconically Singaporean so mm. far. Like, I don't know if they do this in Malaysian mm. Kampong. But because Singapore, we live in HDB, so it's easier to do that. And then you get this entire spread from the neighborhood. You get a little bit of this, a little bit oh, of that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very cute. And if you are someone who wants to relieve this experience and you're non-Malay Muslim, wow, it will be a very touching thing for the Malay Muslim community. Yeah, do that, yeah, YouTubers, then you will get clout. Instead of your Ramadan challenges, we're sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're sick of that. Okay, so this question is... Uh, I would say it's a bit personal because it's something that I, I would want to know how to ask. It's like, like when I'm eating lunch and then like we happen to be in the same room, right? Mm. Then I will be like, hey, can I eat in front of you? No. Like, oh, but okay. I, like, I want to ask you, but at the same time, I know you. I, I say, okay, let's say you're in an office setting <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. and you want to eat at your mm. table and she's across. Okay. <coughs> okay, uh, I'm going to answer this two ways. One is to the non Muslim doing it, and then one for the Muslim uh, at the receiving end of it. I think uh, uh, it would be so respectful if you already know that uh, your Malay Muslim friend is fasting. Uh-huh. If you know it. And sometimes people forget. Like yeah. I've had production the last few days where people ask, hey, uh-huh. can I get you a drink? Oh, yeah. And I keep saying no, no, no. And then I say, no, 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 let me get you something. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> fasting. And then they're telling you, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but there is, there's no. In, in my honest opinion, the healthiest relationship to have with your Muslim uh, friends who are fasting is uh, don't be afraid of coming across ignorant as long as the questions you ask and the way you ask it is genuinely wanting to know how to accommodate mm-hmm. to them. Uh, not even accommodate, but how to make sure you don't offend them or uh, compromise them. Uh, I think that's important. It's, it's not to accommodate. Please don't accommodate. Sorry, yeah. I take that back. Uh, but just how not to 
compromise our situation. Is it better to be discreet? Like, I'll try your best to be discreet. No way. Oh, wow. Shook. Yeah. It's yeah. laksa. Oh, spicy. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I know. Fasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would be so upset if I was Muslim right now. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, but I mean, as much as you can not compromise the fasting, I think we would respect that. But as Muslims, it is our duty to fast. It is not on the owners of the oh, non-Muslim yeah. to uh, accommodate to us, which is why I took back that word. Uh, so if if you are the Muslim in question and 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 someone's doing it, instead of being angry, we are supposed to exercise patience. Uh, we, are, we are supposed to exercise not being offended. So maybe we can either kebal kandiri, which means uh, strengthen the will, uh, and, and just take it as part of the challenge for the day. Like, every day we'll have challenge while in Ramadan, you know? Next Thanks. question, drinking <laughs> beer. Astaghfirullah al after, after you break up, is it? <laughs> like you're doing it, it. why? You can't even drink beer, period. Astaghfirullah al azim you cannot drink at all. Sorry, I really don't mean root beer. Okay, okay, but there's this, there's, there's this misconception that people yeah. always have. Eh, hey, can, cannot drink beer, why can you I always hear this lah. Cannot as in, drink as in, in general lah. Yeah, in general, yeah. Cannot drink beer. Why can smoke? Huh. Uh, it, this is perfect because I described mm. the rule of macro, right? Yeah. It's haram, yeah. macro, and halal. So macro suggests to us in Islam anything that something becomes an addiction or you lose control of or intoxicates you, mm-hmm. and you don't you lose cognitive skills to make decisions. Oh yeah. Uh, Experience it a lot. Yeah, no, <laughs> these are things that are immediately non permissible. Beer, I guess, is not allowed, but smoking is, is because it intoxicates you. Mm-hmm. But when smoking becomes an addiction, the rule of macro then converts itself haram. into haram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, technically, a lot of smokers, uh, when you all are addicted to smoking, uh, it's haram now. This is from some we found on the internet. Uh, <laughs> what did like the parts and dogs? Like pork, 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 and dogs are oh, like, yeah, yeah. to like to deserve this. Because <laughs> <laughs> the prophet was more of a cat person. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, the prophet loved cats actually. Uh, meats such as pork, pork is identified as you cannot eat. Uh, carnivorous animals, things with fangs or claws. <gasps> wow. uh, yeah, those hunters, scavenger animals like vultures, we can't eat those as well. Uh, what else can we eat? We also can't eat animals that live, live, okay, not can go in and out, <laughs> that live <laughs> both in land and water. Frog oh, legs. So it's frogs, amphibian. we can't eat frogs. Yeah. Uh, there are certain crabs that actually we're not allowed to oh eat God, also. I love that. Yeah, because they live both in land and water. I have it. Uh, and then the, the, the animal products that we are allowed to eat, or the animals that we are allowed to slaughter to eat, has to be slaughtered by a Muslim man in a halal mm-hmm. way, which is through the jugular of the oh, animal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so why, why, why dog though? Uh, I believe it's a cleanliness thing. Oh, cleanliness. Uh, because the saliva of the dog is what I know is um, oh, yeah. the area I, that we mm. can't And the wet touch. nose, I heard. Yeah. The wet nose. So, What's your dog to wear mask? Uh, but that's 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 to answer your question on, on pox and dog. What did they do to deserve things? No, not in that way. Like. <laughs> but if you think about it, right? Correct me, uh, if I'm wrong. Christian producer. <laughs> Um, but Abrahamic faiths, technically, you are not allowed to eat pork. Jews don't eat pork, oh. Muslims don't eat pork. And Christianity, there are some verses that tells you you're not allowed to eat pork, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Surprise! But then when they came over to, to, to this side of the world, then they tried to spread it to Chinese people and they tried to eh, bakute lah! Bakute <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please be Christian, but <laughs> still eat my bakute, bro! <laughs> no, I heard that all of them were friends. Who? Who? Allah? Like Allah and Jesus. all of them were friends. I really got it. Avengers. Avengers. They're not friends. No, no, no. It's not that they're not friends. It's like, they're, they don't, they're, there's no Venn diagram that they meet. They never meet up. Oh it's, God, the question yeah. wasn't from me. Oh my so God. That, Hello. That, that, You're that, definitely so Marcus. So no. <laughs> the question, the question uh, wasn't from me. Wait, who were friends again? <laughs> Allah and who? Like, Buddha, or Allah, Jesus, Buddha. Allah. Okay, Allah, but Avengers. if you want to talk about spirituality, then like, that's an open-ended thing. Open-ended you know? question. Yeah. I think there is a universal God out there yeah. that answers to every one of us, uh, regardless the language. Regardless of race, race and religion. Our religion. When did they meet? Tell me the story. That's what I heard. <laughs> How did they meet up? Omi girl, is it? <laughs> Are influencers the new prophets? Because they have followers. <laughs>
<laughs> they don't have any more questions because they don't have enough Muslim friends. I have. I have. I'm Only. not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so to end things off, uh, I just have one question for you. And yes, sir. I think this is uh, more like, this is something that those people that are non-Muslims are non not participating in this uh, Ramadan month that you might, you might need to know or you might want to know. So my question is, um, what is the one thing that you take away the most from this period um, of fasting during this Ramadan month? Mm. Wow, okay, this is such a beautiful question. I think the one thing you take away a lot, I mean, the most obvious thing mm-hmm. is uh, understanding uh, your, faith. Your, your faith and, and how much uh, you have your own willpower to to just lead your life. I, I think that's one thing that mm-hmm. Ramadan teaches you immediately that even without these luxuries, you're still able to leave that one month, right? Uh, and, and a lot of people are so dependent on so many things, but it strips you off and you understand your person. But I think on a, on a very uh, human level, what you notice is your family. Mm. Because Ramadan is that one window where after a busy year, and you're so busy as, as uh, adults, right? That mm-hmm. you don't take time to see that your parents have aged. So that one mm. time when you sit down and you're like, oh my God, I, I, I left this human being for 11 months and this is how, how much we've changed. changed. And, and so that dynamic within families are always so important. McDonald released a very beautiful video about how Malaysian uh, staff members are stuck in Singapore and this is their second mm. Ramadan without their mm. family. And so what they did was they set up this beautiful screen uh, that is a Zoom, but it looked like they were eating on the same table. Oh. And it was just so sad to see these Malaysians stuck in Singapore and like, you know, not being able to do that. So I think uh, this Ramadan, spend time with your family a lot. Uh, I think if anything, COVID has taught us is that uh, life is fleeting and we never know what happens. So, uh, Use, use Ramadan to also connect with people that otherwise your busy schedule don't allow you to. Uh, and once this pandemic is over, we might be blinded again oh, by yeah. the superficial world and the needs of that. So now that we have each other and, and you know, the rules of eight still stays, yalla, make best of it. When else are we going to get this time? Thank you, Jason, for that beautiful question. Sahur! Sahur! The most important thing is that after hearing Herzi answer like some of our ignorant questions, like what you have to keep in mind is that um, what is your intention when asking this question? I think that's the one thing that, that I've learned now that, that, that we can take away from this video. The babies are gross. true, yeah. Educational video. So we'd like to thank Herzi again once again Yay. for being part of the video. And if you have any, any interesting question, slide him a DM and follow his social media. Hey, don't, 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 don't. I'm not Mufti, ah. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you. Don't, forget like. follow, yeah? thank you. don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. 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 Bye.